is Turkey joining the space race. About every two years, a window of opportunity opens where Earth and Mars are at their closest. So last summer, three countries launched their own probes to the red planet. And this past week, the world was treated to some amazing images from one of those missions. From MRO. Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. The rover, called Perseverance, survived a perilous high-speed plunge through the Martian atmosphere. After a seven-month journey, NASA achieved a couple of major firsts. While humans have sent probes to Mars before, we've never seen them land in real time until now. And for the first time ever, we can hear what it's like on the red planet. The Perseverance rover is the most advanced explorer that NASA has ever built. And its primary mission is to answer a question we've all been asking. Is there life on Mars? After the rover Curiosity landed on Mars eight years ago, it confirmed the red planet once could have supported life. Perseverance will try to find definitive proof. When Mars was covered with water three and a half billion years ago, Jezero Crater was a lake. So if there's ancient life, we think that's the highest likelihood of finding it. But NASA is not the only one with plans to explore other planets. This month, the UAE became the first Arab country to send the probe into orbit around Mars. All the theatrics of a space launch, but with an entirely new twist. The space probe called HOPE will be the first Martian weather satellite looking for clues to why it's losing its atmosphere. And just a day later, China's first interplanetary mission successfully sent a probe into Mars's orbit. In the next few months, it will attempt to deploy a rover onto the surface. Space, once a realm only for the superpowers, is making way for new players. And Turkey recently announced bold plans that it is also joining the space race. In order to enhance our technological capabilities and reap its economic benefits, we will need to be in space. It's all part of an ambitious 10-year space program, which includes sending a spacecraft to the moon by 2023, sending Turkish astronauts into space, and developing internationally viable satellite systems. The 10 goals of the program will be implemented by the Turkish Space Agency, which launched in 2018. Turkey is also reportedly planning to build a rocket launch site in Somalia. Given the two countries' strong security ties and Somalia's close proximity to the equator, it would be an ideal location for a spaceport. And Turkey is no alien to outer space. It has been launching telecommunication satellites since the early 90s. In January, Turkey launched its latest satellite, the Turksat 5A, into orbit using Elon Musk's aerospace company, SpaceX. President Erdogan and Musk have also discussed future cooperation and potential joint ventures. Liftoff of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying a Turkish communication satellite. The rocket will soon land on a drone ship floating in the Atlantic Ocean. 32 minutes after that, the satellite will deploy during stage two. Space exploration isn't just about prestige anymore. The scientific advancements and potential commercial applications have become too lucrative to ignore. And Turkey is making sure it doesn't miss out.